Hi everyone, it's Vacha here from RecordingStudio9.com and thanks for joining me again. In today's video, I will give you a tip of how to reduce background noise on your microphone recording, whether if it is a vocal or instrument or anything else, uh, how would you get rid of the noise in the background? you probably be recording uh, your songs in your bedroom and you might even have an old laptop or PC with lots of fan noise just like the one I have now just like what you actually can hear in the background now if we keep recording uh, with the microphones imagine every time the noise in the background is duplicated so the end result will be such a noisy recording um, so we need to overcome that so with this tip I hope that it will help you to uh, make a better, cleaner audio recording uh, or, uh, you know, mixing more likely. Now, to demonstrate the, uh, the noise in my room with my old laptop, what I have done is I've recorded some uh, vocals there, a few lines, and then also, um, while I was silent, recorded the room noise. So let's have a listen to what the room noise sounds like as I turn off uh, my microphone and we listen to that. Right, as you can hear and see, there was lots of noise in my room, maybe just standing there silently while the fan uh, of the laptop um, keeps going on and it's about you know the noise level is like nearly minus 40 db so that's quite quite noisy and so let's have a listen to um to to my um vocal track um of how that sounds with the background noise say you say me say it for always that's the way it should be say you Say me, say it together, naturally. So you can hear there's uh, the amount of noise in the background between each word that um, I sing. Now in Presonus Studio One uh, version 3 Prime, we do have the option to be able to modify so that we can get rid of some of the noise in between. Now, one way to fix the problem is doing it manually. That means going uh, between each one of these words and um, silencing it, deleting any audio in there and getting rid of it. But that's too much work. There's a much easier way to do it. One option we have in uh, Presonus Studio One Prime is the channel strip. So let's add a channel strip. In channel strip, we do have the option called expand and the way the expand works is opposite to compression so as the input signal audio signal coming in gets louder it gets louder as well it turns its gain up and as the input audio signal gets lower it turns the gain lower as well so as the input volume going up it's like turning the fader up and as the uh, input signal goes low, it turns it all the way down. So that way, all of the silent bits pretty much get uh, turned all the way down. So let's uh, give it a try and see what I mean. So let's turn the expander all the way up to 100%. Now, the way you can find out how it's working is by this yellow line on the audio track. As you can see, it's now all the way down. So as we bring it up, it comes up as well and it does have some threshold that uh, it can um, once it reaches that threshold it will automatically turn the gain up and then back back to normal so let's have a quick listen with the expander on say you say me say it for always that's the way it should be 
Say you, say me, say it together, naturally. Say you, say me, say it for always, that's the way it should be. Say you, say me, say it together, naturally. Now how was that? Did you hear how it uh, actually cuts all of the background noise between each word? Because the expander comes into action. So now that we have, um, you know, pretty much clean audio, let's uh, play around and add a little bit more option. So we can uh, make it a little bit faster so that it uh, captures and releases the trigger point much faster. So the attack and the release points. And we might add some uh, compression as well. Uh, so let's have a listen. Say you, say me, say it for always. That's the way it should be. Say you, say me, say it together, naturally. Now that sounds uh, pretty much um, better with the compression on. So it's much more controlled. So that the expander, when it's trying to expand, the compressor is holding it down and leveling, and leveling it. So, you know, they work really quite well together to, um, to balance the audio uh, signal coming. So let's add some, uh, maybe some EQ. Because it's a vocal, there's not much uh, low end. So I usually try to um, sort of, um, you know, cut somewhere about 100 hertz. Anything lower than 100, it's probably not required. Maybe about 110. And let's have a listen. Say you, say me, say it for always. That's the way it should be. So it's much. Say you, it's too much say bottom me, end here. Say it together, naturally. So that's Say it. you, say me. Say it for always. Sounds more clear. That's the way it so should let's be. Let's get rid of a little bit more. Say you, say me, say it together, naturally. Say you, say me, say it for always. That's the way it should be. Let's have a listen. Say you, say me, say it together naturally so that was without it so let's have a turn on again and see say you say me say it for always that's the way it should be say you say me say it together naturally so that's quite a bit of difference made uh, by just adding the compression on, the expander on to get rid of the noise, get rid of, getting rid of all of the low end, and as well as some of the muddiness. And my voice is already getting bad because of my previous cold. I think I talked too much. Well, I hope uh, this was helpful enough for you. Now you can go ahead and record tracks even with uh, a bit of a noisy room, with uh, noisy computers. You are able to control it and and achieve nice uh, clean audio and but now i gotta go and rest my vocals and until um, next time thanks for watching please give me the thumbs up if you like this uh, tip and idea and make sure you subscribe to my channel as well and until next time thanks for watching cheerio